Hi everyone, in this episode of How Do You Do That, we're going to go over the use of the RGB mixer in Resolve and how to utilize this to create some stunning black and white effects. So now what we're going to do is, as you can see, we have this shot here and I want to separate the sky and then create a black and white uh, effect in the sky area only just to bring those clouds out. So the quick way to do this is let's come over first and add a node. And now in this particular node, what I want to do here is do an isolation for the sky. So I'm going to take my eyedropper from the qualifier and just click in the sky area. Click on highlight and you can see this is what we've picked up so far. Now as you can see my qualifier is for the hue width is very narrow so I'm going to really widen that up quite a bit. And now what I'm going to do next is come to the saturation low and then the saturation high. As you can see if I move the saturation high I don't see anything except if I move it down it starts to go away. I want to bring that back to there. Bring this down up open it and then open this up. As you can see, if I open it too much, I start seeing the mountains again. So I don't want that. So then I can come to here and then come to my width and just bring it just a little bit like so. Just so I don't see the mountain there. Okay. And then what I want next is then do a clean white and this will bring that back. And then we want to do denoise here, a little bit. And then let's come back here. I just center that a little bit, like so. Okay, now we're looking pretty good. So now as you can see here, the mat size is a little bit uh, smaller because I have used the uh, clean white function. So to compensate for that, let's use the in out ratio. And as you can see here, this will change the size of the mat area. And then the better way to look at it then is to come out of the highlight mode and then here I can then also uh, work on it later that way. So now what I want to do here is put this into monochrome mode and then in this way I can then come over here now and then create my stark level. Now as you can see if I go too far I start to see a little bit of a white line there. By changing the in out ratio I can now I can change that just a little bit like so. Makes it better. And there we have it. Okay so for more tips and tricks like this don't forget to have a look at the other videos on our YouTube channel and for more information about training services have a look in the comments below. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thanks and have a great day.